Hello guys, welcome to another video in file handling series in C. In this video, let us look at two more commonly used library functions that are fprintf and fscanf. fprintf function fprintf function is used to write data to a file. It's works in the same way as printf function. As you know, the printf function is used to write something onto the monitor. fprintf function is used to write file instead of the monitor. As you might have seen in the previous videos, the putc function is used to write characters and putw function is used to write integers only. But fprintf function can be used to write all types of data to the file. Its general form is fprintf and we pass three parameters to the function. The first parameter here is fp which is the file pointer. The second parameter is the format specifier corresponding to the variable list in the third parameter. Now, let us look at fscanf function. fscanf function is used to read data from a file. It works in the same way as scanf function. As you know, scanf function is used to take input data from a keyboard. fscanf is used to take input from a file. Secondly, as you might have seen in the previous videos, getc function is used to read characters only and getw function is used to read integers only but fscanf function can be used to read any types of data from a file its general form is fscanf and we pass three parameters to this function the first parameter here is fp which is the file pointer the second parameter is the format specifier corresponding to the variable list in the third parameter let us take an example to understand the uses of these two functions. So let us write a program pifprintf.c First of all, we need a file pointer variable. So file, let's say fp Let's say we want to write an integer variable, a float variable, and a string. And we also want to read this file. So let us take a separate variable to read this data to show the effect of f scanner. So declare the variable first intaw. We want to write using this variable and say ar, which will read the data from the file using the fscanf similarly we declare float bw and br for reading and similarly in character array suppose str for write say 50 and say for reading strr say 50 okay now we want to open the file so fp equals f open let's say file name be file one dot txt file one dot txt we want to write first and read the same file again so let us open in w plus mode plus mode if file cannot be open we cannot proceed we have to return although it is very rare in w mode because it will not open when the memory cannot be allocated for this file it will return null but memory is not a constraint nowadays but it's good practice to check it before we proceed so if fp equal equal null then let's say then let's give a message print f unable to open okay we have to return return say zero 
if file is open then we have to proceed now we will read the data from the keyboard so give a message first print uh, enter a integer now we want to get the user input so scan f person d we will assign it to the variable a w similarly print f enter a float value uh, let's take it on person f address of pw similarly for string f enter a string Can f percent not equals slash n. We read this string in the strw. Okay. Here, to read the string until the enter key is pressed, we use circumflex. We are not using person s you should know why now we are writing this data to the file using fprintf so fprintf the first parameter fp then the specifiers that is person d give it f slash t person f let's say slash t let's give person s then the variable is a w b w s t r w okay now let's see it is working or not let's compile first C C F print F C minus O print F Now let's run the file F print F Enter integers let's say five Enter a float value let's say seven point eight one Enter a string, let's say, how are you? Okay. Now let's see it is written on the file or not. Let's open the file. The file was vi file one dot txt. You can see here the data are written on the file using a printf. Now Using fscanf we want to read this data. So let's go back to the program. Now you can note here one thing. The file pointer is now at the end of the file. So we need to move the file pointer to the beginning of the file. So we use a function called rewind. Rewind fp to move the file pointer to the beginning of the file now let us read the data from the file using fscanf we are reading data in a separate variable so fscanf first the file pointer then the specifiers person d person f person the circumflex so slash n then the variable list that is address of a 
R address of V R and S T R R. Okay. Now we want to display these values. So print F after reading from file. Now display these values using printf. Printf person D person F and person S. Give the variable list that is a R B R S T R R. Okay. Then let's give a new line. Printf now let us close the file F close F V ok now we are done let's run this program so let's compile the program first now run the program it says so it says enter integers let's give five let's enter a float value seven point eight one and let's enter integer how are you so after reading from the file it's give the value five seven point eight one how are you so if you see the file file one dot txt you can see value is here so if you see here we have written this value using fprintf and we have read these values from the file using fscanf so i suggest you guys to try different program using fprintf and fscanf so that's all for today and thank you for watching like share and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you